my name is Asia. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Subscribe. Like the video. I mean, you can turn the bell on if that's your thing. I don't like receiving notifications for stuff, you know. I, I go on YouTube in my own time, you know, and I watch and support people. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 10k, like I said last time. Also, we're throwing new videos in the mix. So today's video is going to be an Amazon favorites. Shit you didn't know you needed until today, until I told you to buy it. Um, everything will be linked in the description box so you can just click the links and buy right there and I'm not gonna go in like any particular order because everything is just thrown in a box in front of what well, not in front of me on the side of me this thing that you see here um, so I'm just gonna grab and go so if you want to see what some of my favorite things are from Amazon they make my life easier that are gonna make your life easier then just keep watching <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that I cannot live without is my straightener. So I used to be like a generic, you know, straightener kind of gal. Like the straighteners that I always found in like home goods were really good, but they were like this, you know, the small ones. And I never had a problem with them because my hair is pretty easy to straighten. Um, but these big ones, you know, I always thought this was only for like I don't know what I always saw. I just, I, they just went over my head. Like, I just was like, why do you need a straightener that big? And then, ever since I started using a straightener this, this large, I cannot use a regular straightener. I just be sitting there, I'm just like, why is this even a thing? Like, how am I supposed to do my hair and, you know, rush through it if I have to, like, you're doing such little pieces and uh, it's just crazy. With the big one, I could do, like, really large sections of my hair. It takes me, like, 10 to 15 minutes to get through my hair, depending on, like, my roots are wavy and curly and a mess. Um, but, like, if I put my hair in a low ponytail at night, let it air dry and braid, and then straighten it with this, boom, I only need 10 minutes to do my hair. And I'm good to go. So yeah, so this is from Remington. I think it was like $28, $30, something like that. Um, but yeah, you guys always ask about this too. It's really good. It it straightens my hair like perfectly. Um, and it comes in like other colors. Not that that matters, obviously. But I don't mind the purple and pink either. So yeah, leave your little scrawny straightener behind. I mean, I feel like they're good if you want to curl your hair, but I don't like the way curls come out with a straightener anyway, so that's not a thing for me. So yeah, get the big girl straightener and save yourself some time because don't worry, I'm going to be sitting there with straightening hair for an hour. Like, that's just a mess, you know? So I'm just going to throw things on the floor because where am I supposed to put it? The next thing is... Oh my god, everything's falling. A steamer! So I have a full body steamer, like the one where it's like the hanger, the whole shebang. Um, but it's in a closet in my house, so like I don't ever go get it because I'm lazy as hell. So I bought a portable steamer because I steam my curtains, I try to steam like my pillowcases, sometimes I'll steam my blanket like where I can see it. Um, so yeah, so this is basically just a plug-in steamer and the top twist off, the top twist off. Why did that not? The top twist off. And you just put water in it and turn it on. Steam starts coming out. It comes with the collapsible hanger too. So you, it's easy to travel with. And you just put your little item on the hanger. Whoosh. Baby girl. Your girl over here doesn't know how to iron. I Ironing goes over my head. I don't own an ironing board. So like there's been times that I used to iron like on my carpet. And like I would melt the carpet. So you know. I got time for all that. So. I use a steamer. It works for me. I'm not one of those people that steams their jeans and all their shirts. You know, my t my clothes are tight, so nothing needs to be ironed. And I don't feel like I feel like if your clothes are tight and you iron it, like, what are you really doing? I don't know. If you iron all your stuff, let me know. I know men iron everything, but like me, no. Um, I also don't own those type of clothes. I don't walk outside and like button ups, you know. But yeah, so I own a steamer though, just for where my clothes are wrinkled because um, I don't take care of anything. We all know that by now. But yeah, steamer has saved my life. Um, it just comes in handy. It's just good to have, you know, because I just feel like you're sitting there, you're like pressing all the creases out all perfectly. Like, oh, the collar is not correctly even with the other side of this. It does what it's supposed to do, you know, it gets the job done. Next, I have a speaker. That's random, right? This is the Bose speaker. We have two of these in my house, and then they come to what color? They connect so you could put like one at one end of the house and one somewhere else and play 
the music one time so it's the same was that the right way to describe it i don't know um but these are really good they're really loud i like them it's easy for me to like carry around so like when i go in the bathroom when i'm cleaning or like i'm taking a shower i just take this with me so yeah this is the speaker i use on like everyday use in my house um and it just is a good time it's like the hookah pour the liquor turn the speaker on and it's a vibe um again we're not going in any particular order because i'm going in order that makes no sense so next that i get from amazon i get my um self tanner i know what you're thinking your girl is pale in the winter and when i tell you when i reflect in my summer pictures i get so sad because i was so tan and like i like being tan because one when you're tan you see like more muscle definition you feel slimmer um me all the scars that are on my face like the hyperpigmentation they're gone in the summertime because i'm tan because i'm like still working on removing them like the deeper ones so i like the self tan and i have these mitts i had the um a mitt from Ulta as well but it was like a disposable one it wasn't one that you could like wash and <laughs> sorry excuse me it wasn't one you could like save or anything like that it just was a cheap like few time use thing so i picked these up from amazon they were pretty cheap it came in a set and it came with an exfoliator mitt too which is i the, the exfoliator mitt was worth the money itself for me like i just was like whoa, whoa. i think in the shower like i'm like i feel clean I, I mean i always feel clean but i feel like squeaky clean and i like oh i can just smell everything and i have like really dry skin so i love to like scrub it all off um so it came in like a three piece set so yeah so i love this for me makes my life easier but this but wait when i tell y'all i'm about to put y'all on something you never know you needed so this thing is an electrical lint roller i'm gonna tell you a story so you know us females we like to wear i don't know the men go through this i don't know but you know we we like to wear sweatpants and our sweatpants are tight and you've ever like been sitting in the car and you put your hand like you know like in your inner thigh and you feel like the the fuzzies from like the friction of the material rubbing up against each other you know what i'm talking about sis don't try to sit here and act like i'm all in this by myself because it happens to all my sweatpants i don't know maybe it's because i don't have a thigh gap you know god god said you don't get it you don't get a thigh gap asia you know so now i got all this friction and what is it called I've, I've been to disney bro and i i never experienced what friction can do when your thighs is going like this and baby girl that shit hurts what's it called chafing i think oh never again wear your undergarments wear like you know some shorts or something in disney world when it's hot because no that's not cute but anyways so sweatpants any clothes in general honestly they get the peas your hoodies get like peasy after you wear them a while you just throw them in the washer throw them in the dryer. me i don't take care of nothing we know that so i don't go oh that's my favorite hoodie i'm gonna take care of that if it's in a dirty basket it's getting washed if i wore it outside it's going in a dirty basket which means it's getting washed i don't go through my dirty basket and say like oh i can't wash this is fun fact about me i don't take shit to the dry cleaner um that's a waste of money to me i can wash it and hopefully i remember to air dry it but <laughs> i'm so irresponsible guys i don't know what to do but yeah so this is an electric limb roller I have a battery operated one um but this one is bigger this is like heavy duty so what you do is you plug it in and the cord is really long on this one i really like this one you turn it on it almost just tried to turn on which is weird um but what it does is you put it on the the peas the lint and it's a razor in it and it just cuts it off listen you need one of these if you get anything in here that's gonna make your like your wardrobe a game changer like taking care of your clothes just get one of these i have a whole bunch of tripods that i get from amazon um so i'm just gonna go down the, the three that i see and then there's i think there's like two more at the bottom of this box so i have a bunch of tripods because for one i use two different cameras i use my phone i'm lazy when i'm on facetime i don't like holding my phone i'm one of those people that i'll show you like an eyeball and like half of my face um because my 
my hands are little I get tired of holding it so the first tripod that I have is this one this is my second one of this one because somebody stole it and I'm on to you but this is the second one it's by Manfrotto I believe and there's like this little button here so you just press the button and the whole thing is maneuverable I hope that's a word and then I have um a cell phone attachment on top so I put this on like if I'm on the phone I'm walking around a house but I'm on FaceTime or something like that um yeah this is what I use I feel like this is my best purchase of 2020 I haven't used it I mean I I've used it but I haven't used it in the means that I wanted to use it so I have a regular tripod which is what my camera's on it's the regular like Amazon basics tripod it gets the job done for filming um but this one this is what I call my travel tripod so the reason I call it my travel tripod is because when I do travel and I'm like by myself, like in the hotel, in the house, out or anything, I mean, not that I carry tripods out, but you know, I wanted my picture taken and I can't take it. And I never take a tripod because the tripod that I have this camera on now is huge. I mean, it's not huge, but like it collapses to like this big. So I'm not going to put it in my suitcase, you know? So then when I'm like in my hotel, like the last time I was in Amsterdam, I had two coffee tables in my hotel and I stacked them on top of each other and I put a vase and then I put my phone and I had my um, Bluetooth button. So that's where this idea came in. So this is another tripod. It's not big. It's smaller than my, well, I guess it's the same size as my forearm. It's the same height as me. Um, I'm being, I'm exaggerating, but it's damn near the same height as me. It won't go in. Oh. So I got this because I could put this in my carry-on. I could put this in my suitcase. It's small enough that it won't bother me. It won't take up a lot of space. It goes really tall. So again, I could just prop it up in my hotel room or anywhere I'm traveling. I could carry it out when I'm traveling, you know, and take my picture, stain little twisty head, plop a phone thing on, put your phone on, boom. Twist the camera on, boom, you're done. Sis, you don't have an excuse to say, well, I don't wanna take my pictures. How am I gonna be consistent on Instagram? this this thing next i have a facial steamer um i'm actually gonna use this tonight i try to steam my face every two weeks um the thing about it is it gets pretty complicated for me because usually i have eyelash extensions so you don't want to steam your face while you have eyelash extensions because it could like mess with the glue it could mess with the lash it could like melt the not melt the lash but like just mess with the integrity of the lash so like as of right now i don't have any lash extensions on so i'm gonna steam my face tonight because i get my lash extensions tomorrow morning um but this is just good because you know it's the same sense as like being in a shower, but this just is going directly into your pores. It's going to open your pores and that way everything that you apply after all your skincare products, um, they're going to sink in deeper. Next is another hair product because again, we're not going in any particular order. Um, this is a beach waver. I found out about this from Desi Perkins. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this. Um, I know Desi uses this and I know Nicole Guerrero uses this. I've seen it on both of their channels and I've had it um, ever since they both posted about it. So yeah, if you ever see me with natural waves, which is very rarely, mostly you only see it on Snapchat, honestly, um, I use this thing. But if you're looking for like new ways to do your hair and you like the loose wave look and you don't want to sit there with a the wand and you have trouble getting all the curls the same way with the wand, this is a good way to get the look. Get the look, get the look, you know? Um, random. A foot mask. So... As you guys know, I do my nails and my toes myself. Um, I My feet don't like get a lot of dry skin. Oh no, they get dry skin, but I don't get like an unbearable amount. But when the seasons are changing, I like to do these foot masks. And basically it's like a sock with oils and stuff like that in it. You just pop these socks on and it makes all your skin peel off over the time span of a week. Um, I tried a few different brands from Amazon. They all do what they say they're going to do. Next is um, a skincare product. So this is my derma roller. Um, it has alcohol in here, so I'm like not gonna hold it up. But whoa! So basically, my derma roller—I don't know if you ever seen a derma roller. It has a bunch of little needles on the head, and this is what I would do I mean, when I get at the shower. You're supposed to do this like once a week. I noticed um, I was using it pretty much every day. For like three weeks and my skin changed so much um with my toner that i'm gonna show you 
my skin literally went from breaking out non-stop sorry my skin went from breaking out non-stop all over and then like once i would get a break where my skin was healing i started dermal rolling and then i applied the toner and my skin has been good ever since now that my skin is like getting back to that uncomfortable zone i've been dermal rolling and uh, toning every single night again to get control of my skin again um the next thing is a car mount I don't obviously if you're not a youtuber or like a vlogger or anything you don't need this but this has been great for when i do vlog in a car so yeah if you do youtube or you know you just record yourself in your car i think this is a good thing to have because since it moves i could put it in the middle and you can see me and my friends in the whole entire car or i could put it so you can only see me driving so yeah love this for me bluetooth buttons bluetooth buttons are your best friend if you're trying to be consistent like i said i have like five of these i give them to my friends all the time because i'm just like girl you have no reason to not have pictures up like get you a bluetooth button um i preferably i preferably i like these ones because i don't know i like the shape they're a little more modern looking they, they're all black like i had a red one before it was ugly these are very easy like if i do take a picture and you can see it it's very easy for me to remove out of my hand like with the app um, and then it just has like an iOS button and an Android button. It connects via Bluetooth. Um, yeah, great. Love these for me. So I just have a bunch of these. And when I travel, when I go out with friends, I put one in my purse just because, you know, if you ever had all your friends with you, you're like, wow, we're never all together. And you just all want to take a picture. Well, who's going to take, take a good picture of you? You know, who's going to take the dedication to take like 10 pictures of you? Carry a Bluetooth button. And then the last thing that I have that's an electronic is um, my vlogging camera. So this is, what is this? The Canon G7X Mark III, I believe. Um, so the reason I got the Mark III was because I'm lazy. I didn't want to go on Best Buy and like play with the cameras, you know? Um, but I was like doing my research, comparing them, and they're they're pretty much identical. The only difference is the Mark III has the microphone input, import, input thing. Um, so yeah, but I really love this camera. I suggest like if you're looking into investing in a camera, this one, you know, it's not big, but I mean the, the picture quality, the video quality is like beautiful on it. Even sometimes when I vlog, I'm like, I'm like damn this camera like it's it's just really good it's just really good can it you did that um but yeah so this is the newer version if you don't care about the mic though i would get the older version there's no difference and the older one's cheaper anyway so yeah and this is also the camera you see everybody and their mom use on youtube if you were ever wondering what the name was all right so enough electronics because that's boring as hell um i have some sunglasses there's these are just two pairs of sunglasses so fun fact about me is i had these steady glasses that i I spoiled myself with one day on a whim because they were like going out of season and they were on sale so i bought them and i lost them and ever since i lost them because i spent 500 dollars on them ever since i lost them i will not invest in designer glasses because it's just something they break you know you break them easily you lose them easily i feel like when you go on vacation you have a great time it's always somebody that loses like their gucci sunglasses or something but i really loved my fendi glasses so i found these on amazon and they're basically an exact dupe for them um the arm, they're pretty, no, I'm, I'm gonna say it. they're pretty much identical. I think they're like a centimeter bigger than the real ones, but it's okay. And then these are the ones I was talking about that I lost. I had the gold ones. So, yeah. If you ever wondered where these were from, I got these from Amazon. Again, I had the original Fendi ones for years and then I lost them and I was gonna rebuy them. And I just was like, you know what, Asia? You obviously can't keep up with glasses, so don't even play yourself. So I just picked up the black and the gold hair from Amazon. I always wanted the original black hair anyway, so I figured for like $12, well, why not? <laughs> Ball out, baby girl. $12 versus $500. Buy it. Buy them all. Get them all. <sighs> Let's see. These. Let me show you guys these lashes that I got from Amazon. I was trying to take a break from eyelash extensions, and I was like, oh, I need some lashes. And I used to only wear Lily lashes. And then once I started becoming really consistent with my eyelash extensions, I just got rid of all my Lily lashes. But then I was like, let me just pick up some lashes from Amazon and see how they do. So these are the lashes from Amazon. Do you guys see those? Aren't they not really good for like, I, 
almost was like, are, like, are these Lily like? Is this where Lily gets her lashes from? You know, just puts them in her own case. Cause I was like, they're so pretty. The pair that I have on now is the third pair and an eyelash applicator. And these were like $12 for three. Whereas Lily lashes is 20 for one. So sis, I'm gonna link this. Do yourself a favor, buy these just in case you have an emergency and you need some lashes. Do yourself a favor, you know? Don't say I never thought for nothing. Me and my Amazon friends. Lastly, in this little box, my phone case that everybody always asks me about, it's from Amazon. You just type in like square case and I got the clear one because I have the green iPhone. I want the white one, so I think I'm gonna order that today. But yeah, I just prefer a square case. It looks so much better. I feel like ever since I had that, people were always like, what kind of phone do you have? Like you have an iPhone, but why do you have a different iPhone than me? It's because the square case. Um, so yeah. It just looks like so chic. I love a clean line look, so that's why I like the square case. So if you was ever wondering where I got my phone case, now you know. And if it sells out, I'm gonna be livid. So for my makeup brushes when I travel, I put them in this case. The reason I like this case is because it's flat, so I could just put it on top of clothes. I have one of those brush containers, um, but because it's round, I feel like it just eats up a lot of room. So I just prefer this when I travel. And it doesn't mess up my brushes because they're not like smushed together or anything. That's my eyebrow stuff. So my brushes are not like in the slots because I just been home. But basically, basically, it just looks like this in the inside. So it has the, the slots and it has this bag. So like if you have to put anything in it, like Q-tips or anything, and then more slots over here. So again, I just lay my brushes in it i don't really put them in the holes and then, yeah i mean it's a brush you know but again it's one of those things you don't know that you need until you have it and then the other thing that i recommend to everybody off of amazon i found it and now all my friends have it and they have prettier ones than me and i'm just like well, the next thing i have is my traveling makeup case um i'm itchy i'm just i'm going like this because i'm itchy so the reason I like um, the reason I like this makeup case so much is because one, it's hard. So it being hard, I don't ever have to worry about anything breaking, like my foundations or anything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much why. But it's really organized. It comes in a few sizes, but I believe I have like the small one. I'm gonna link the exact one. Mine's just really dirty, so don't judge me. Um, I need to like just get a new one and just start all over, honestly. But you know, I'm not. So. Hold on, let me take a few of the products out at the top. Mine's is like overfill. It's I fill mine to the top and it, I've never had an issue with it. But so when you open it, oh, this works. So on this one, it has um, brush slots too. I don't use the brush slots on here um, because I use I don't use a lot of brushes, but I like to have an option of brushes. And I feel like when you put like bigger brushes in this thing, it gets messed up. So I don't do that. Um, like eyeshadow brushes and stuff like that it's good to go there's a little zipper part right here where i put stuff and then basically it comes with dividers so it had way more dividers than this but this is how i have my setup so i have like all my powders that i use so like my facial set my facial setting my setting powder my bronzers highlighters blush bronzers all that stuff like even like the bigger um things fit in here this is the jaclyn hill stuff and then over here is just Foundations like I put my sponges, primers, lip liners, concealers, mascaras, everything I can eat. Scissors for my lashes if I have them, tweezers. Um, so yeah, I've never had an issue with this, but again, I'm gonna buy a new one just because mine is dirty. So yeah, get this to. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about I'm all about ambiance, I'm all about setting the vibe. So if you follow me on any social media platform and you've seen my room, um, you know my room is very clean looking. The thing that I use to set the mood for my room is I have lights around my mirror and my TV. I'll insert a clip on the side, on this side, maybe this side. One of these sides of what I'm talking about. Those lights are also from Amazon. I just feel as though it's one of those things that you don't have to touch the walls in your house or your apartment, you know, if you're running or anything. So yeah, so that's all my little nits and bits from Amazon that 
I probably could have lived without, but now that I have them, I can't. So, yeah, I'll have all the links down below. If you have any questions about anything, DM me, email me, write me in the comments. I try to respond to everyone. You guys know that. Again, thank you so much for 10K. Um, the next video you will be seeing will be a spring haul, like a little spring mini haul, getting into that warmer weather. Um, and then after that, let me know if you guys want to see the shopping that i do for my upcoming vacation for my birthday so yeah so like i said that's everything i hope you guys enjoy it i'm sorry that nothing was in order but if we was overly organized i wouldn't be me i wouldn't be me baby girl so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys uh in a few days <laughs> don't quote me on that though just kidding <laughs> bye guys